B-83. One of the most powerful nuclear weapons ever created is the B-83 nuclear bomb, the heavyweight of the U.S. arsenal. It weighs around 2,400 pounds, or 1,100 kilograms, and measures 12 feet or 3.7 meters in length, about the size of a small car. But what truly matters is what's inside, enough destructive power to wipe out an entire city. The B-83 is a gravity bomb, meaning it's dropped from an aircraft and simply falls to its target without any propulsion. But that simplicity is deceptive. Once released, it unleashes a blast equivalent to 1.2 megatons of TNT. That's 80 times stronger than the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. To understand what that means in practical terms, imagine a single B-83 detonated as an airburst over Beijing. The fireball alone would consume more than 4 square kilometers, or 1.5 square miles, instantly vaporizing everything in its path. Buildings would collapse in a radius of over 7.5 kilometers or 4.6 miles due to the shockwave. Windows would shatter up to 21 kilometers or 13 miles away, and anyone within 13 kilometers or 8 miles would suffer third-degree burns from the thermal radiation. We're talking about an estimated 1.5 million deaths and over 3 million people injured. The B-83 was originally carried by both the B-52 Stratofortress and the B-2 Spirit Stealth Bomber. However, in 2010, the U.S. removed gravity bombs from the B-52's loadout due to modern air defense threats. Today, only the B-2 remains capable of carrying it up to 16 bombs at once. There are roughly 200 B-83 bombs still in active service, though plans are in place to retire them in favor of more modern, lower-yield weapons. Trident II The Trident II is a submarine-launched ballistic missile and the backbone of the U.S. and U.K. Second Strike nuclear capabilities. The missile weighs about 59,000 kilograms, or 130,000 pounds, stretches 13.5 meters or 44 feet long, and uses three solid fuel stages to fly over 12,000 kilometers or 7,500 miles. Launched from Ohio-class submarines, it can reach virtually any target on Earth without being detected. Each missile carries up to eight W-88 warheads, each with a yield of 475 kilotons, more than 30 times the power of the Hiroshima bomb. Because these warheads are independently targetable, a single missile can strike eight different targets in a single launch, or concentrate its force on a single location. To imagine the scale of this weapon, picture a single Trident II missile launched at Moscow, all warheads concentrated on one area. The fireball would incinerate over 10 square kilometers, or 4 square miles. Shockwaves would level structures within an 11-kilometer or 7-mile radius. Anyone within 22 kilometers or close to 14 miles would suffer third-degree burns, covering more than 1,500 square kilometers or 580 square miles of affected area. Casualties would be enormous, likely over 2.8 million killed immediately and more than 4.6 million injured. The U.S. Navy maintains 14 of these submarines, each carrying up to 20 Trident II missiles. That's 280 missiles ready for launch and 2,240 nuclear warheads, each hundreds of times more powerful than Hiroshima. In total, this arsenal represents the equivalent of over 70,000 Hiroshima bombs, silently patrolling the oceans at all times. Dongfeng-5 First introduced in the 1980s, the DF-5 remains a critical part of China's strategic deterrent. It stands 106 feet tall, weighs roughly 183 tons, and can hit targets over 15,000 kilometers or about 9,300 miles away, enough to strike anywhere on the globe from Chinese territory. The latest versions, like the DF-5B and DF-5C, carry MIARVs, multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles. A single missile can deliver up to 12 nuclear warheads, each with a yield of 1 megaton. That's 66 times more powerful than the Hiroshima bomb per warhead. If all 12 warheads were aimed at the same city, the result would be catastrophic. Take Washington, D.C., for example. A combined blast of 12 megatons would create a fireball more than 3 kilometers or 2 miles wide, vaporizing everything in its core. Buildings would collapse within a 16-kilometer or close to 10-mile radius, and thermal radiation would cause third-degree burns up to 35 kilometers or 22 miles away. Fatalities could exceed 1 million, with over 1.8 million injured, all from just one missile. China is believed to have 20 to 30 of these missiles in its arsenal, but China hasn't stopped at the DF-5. Dongfeng-41, China's most advanced and deadliest intercontinental ballistic missile. First revealed in 2019 during a military parade in Beijing, the DF-41 represents a massive leap forward in mobility, survivability, and reach. Unlike the older silo-based DF-5, the DF-41 is road mobile, mounted on a massive 16-wheel transporter 
It can be hidden, moved, and launched from virtually anywhere in China, making it extremely difficult to detect or preemptively strike. It measures roughly 70 feet in length, weighs over 80 tons, and has about the same range as the DF-5 of up to 15,000 kilometers or 9,300 miles, enough to hit any target on the planet, including every major city in the US or Europe. What makes it especially dangerous is its MIRV capability. It can carry up to 10 independently targetable nuclear warheads, each with a yield of between 150 kilotons and 300 kilotons. If we assume a maximum loadout of 10 warheads at 250 kilotons each, the combined yield is 2.5 megatons, over 165 times the power of Hiroshima. A single DF-41 could obliterate 10 different cities in one strike or focus all warheads on a single target for catastrophic overkill. Imagine one DF-41 fired at Los Angeles, all warheads converging on the metro area. The fireball and overlapping blast zones would annihilate the city core. High-rises would be leveled. Thermal radiation would set neighborhoods on fire dozens of kilometers away. An estimated 3 to 5 million casualties would be likely from one missile alone. Current estimates suggest that China may already field 20 to 30 DF-41s, with more under development. Paired with its mobility and survivability, the DF-41 gives China a true second-strike capability and signals its entrance into the top tier of global nuclear powers, R-36. The R-36 Intercontinental Ballistic Missile is also known by its NATO name, the Satan Missile. Developed during the Cold War, it's one of the most powerful ICBMs ever built. It stands 106 feet or 32 meters tall, weighs over 210,000 kilograms, which is close to half a million pounds, and can deliver warheads to targets more than 16,000 kilometers or 10,000 miles away. The R-36 can carry up to 10 warheads, each capable of yielding up to one megaton. That's a total potential yield of 10 megatons per missile, about 666 times the force of Hiroshima. Some variants were even capable of carrying a single 20 megaton warhead designed to destroy hardened military targets like underground command bunkers. To visualize the devastation, imagine a 15 megaton R-36 detonation over San Francisco. The fireball would cover over 30 square kilometers or 12 square miles. Buildings would be flattened within a 17 kilometer or 10 mile radius. Third degree burns would affect people up to 40 kilometers or over 24 miles away. Nearly 4,800 square kilometers or 1,850 square miles, an area larger than many countries, would suffer severe effects. More than 1 million people could die instantly, with another 1.3 million injured. And Russia is estimated to still operate around 46 of these missiles. RS-28 Sarmat, better known as the Satan 2 inches missile, it's the most powerful nuclear delivery system ever built. Designed to replace the aging R-36, the Sarmat is over 35 meters or 116 feet long, weighs more than 208 tons, and can carry up to 10 heavy warheads or 15 lighter ones. It includes advanced countermeasures designed to evade missile defense systems and has a range exceeding 18,000 kilometers or over 11,000 miles, meaning it can strike any point on Earth from within Russia. Even more terrifying is its reported ability to use a fractional orbital bombardment system, or FOBs, which allows it to enter low Earth orbit and strike from any direction, even from the South Pole bypassing most early warning systems. Some estimates claim the Sarmat could carry a theoretical payload of up to 50 megatons, matching the infamous Tsar Bomba, the most powerful nuclear weapon ever detonated. While that figure is likely not used in practice, the implications are staggering. If a 50 megaton warhead were detonated over New York City, the fireball would instantly vaporize 83 square kilometers or 32 square miles. Buildings would be leveled up to 26 kilometers or 16 miles away. Burns would affect people within a 60-kilometer or 37-mile radius and over 11,000 square kilometers or over 4,200 square miles, an area larger than many U.S. states, would be directly affected. Estimated fatalities? Over 7 million. Injured? At least 6 million more. When the Tsar Bomba was tested in 1961, the flash was visible 1,000 kilometers away in Norway. A strike of the same magnitude on New York would be seen all the way from Columbia, South Carolina. But all of this raises one final question. Why do these weapons still exist? While Russia boasts the largest nuclear arsenal on Earth, with around 6,000 warheads, recent failures in testing and setbacks in its invasion of Ukraine have raised doubts about its true capabilities. The Sarmat missile itself reportedly failed during a test, leaving a crater instead of a launch. Some now wonder whether Russia's arsenal is truly as fearsome as it claims. 
or if much of it is simply a paper tiger. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe for similar ones and feel free to drop suggestions for the next video in the comments.